And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Leona. It's been a while since we played a Karma control deck. And this one looks pretty cool. We're going to be combining it with Targon, where Targon has some, some Daybreak cards that are strong, but then also has a good amount of spells that are really strong with Karma. Because what we want to do is just delay the game until we are enlightened so that we get to level up Karma. And then every spell we play, we get to cast it again. And so that could be casting two Behold the Infinites, two Guiding Touch to heal ourselves for four and draw two. Um, you know, it doesn't, you know, Hush is kind of whatever. But then, of course, obviously Deep Meditation with Ionia. But then the other cool thing with that with Targon is Star Shaping, besides those other ones I named. Get to heal our Nexus for 10 and invoke twice for just five mana. That seems pretty awesome. So we need to stay alive till turn tend to be enlightened and the daybreak cards do a good job of that because they're just really good units early on with our different solari cards and of course we can get some celestial cards that could be amazing with karma as well robin's a, a great blocker and creates another daybreak card for us and also makes it always day and leona stunning enemies making it hard for them to kill us and then yeah get triple hush just good spells to help stay alive and denies this deck looks pretty sweet, so let's give it a try. We're going to go play it over in Ranked. This one was a viewer-submitted donation deck, our our first donation deck of the day. It's first and only. Um, so yeah, I didn't put this list together, but it looks really cool. So let's play some games. Alright, Twisted Fate Swain. We got a really good test right off the bat. One of the best decks. We're going to Mulligan, Shaping, and Deep Meditation, and we'll keep our two Solari cards. I don't think I'm beholding the infinite on turn two, but maybe I should. Maybe we should. Just give us more information. I'll pass. I should probably just attack for two, actually, to start with. I should have just attacked for two and then played this. Uh, I do like Written in Stars. Um, that's really good with Karma. Just giving Karma plus two, plus two, so it's not as easy to kill. I also do like Obliterate against Leviathan and Swain. Um, so I like that as well. And then the warrior can be a really good card for us to play on curve. Of killing like little things like petty officer stuff. So these are all good. I think I'm going to go with the warrior. Because like the obliterate card we won't need for like a lot later. And like the written in stars gets us... Um, Anyway, this is why I should have attacked for two immediately, by the way. What was this card? But if the... No, the stars. Um, so yeah, Obliterate's not for a lot later. The Written in Stars also not really for a lot later with the Karma. Let's just get this Warrior that we can play in one more turn. So it could have been at 15, and this would have been an 03 if I would have attacked immediately. Yeah, so you, you like holding the spell mana and playing this later with it being burst speed. Basically, the, the main reason to play it right away is the zero mana cards, right? Like, maybe you get, like, a zero mana card. Like the, I don't know, the 2-1 challenger, I guess. Never lost a fair game or played one. Soak it in. I'm going to go ahead and play it now. I'm going to play it over any other option. Could double the hold this turn and then have... Obliterate two enemies? That's just... Uh, that's just too good. We could double Behold this turn, and then we have three mana Deep Meditation next turn, but I want to play the Warrior next turn. So... All or nothing. 
nothing. Question is, would lowering Heimerdinger to four make him more playable again? Yes, Heimerdinger is just a problematic design. The Heimerdinger is not a card that's going to be like when you get when you just play spells and get all sorts of free units like Heimerdinger does. Like when you have something like that, you can't that can't really be balanced. It's either going to be, it's either going to cost too much and be too slow and therefore not very playable, or those aren't true. It doesn't cost too much and it's not too slow, and then it dominates. There's not a middle ground. Follow the horizon. So that's why I don't really like just the design of Heimerdinger, because there isn't a middle ground. And just when you have a card designed like that. Keep up, keep up. I just have to use this on this Twisted Fate now. It's about to level up. I just hope they don't have yet another salvage. Wow, they did. I guess you can win them all. I think it makes I don't think it makes more sense I don't think it makes sense to lower Heimerdinger's mana cost. I think it would make more sense to make Heimerdinger's body relevant or, or like way to be able to stay alive a little bit but have the higher mana cost so, so it'd be still weaker to aggro decks. Do they get do they have to burn this card? Good, at least they have to burn that Noxion Fervor. The reason why I don't really want to attack with these tutus is because of something like Riptide Rex. I want to have like the lot, the lot of bodies in play, so it's not damage going upstairs. Glory, courage, excuses for war. I think that's zero. So next turn is turn eight. I would not really mind Leviathan, because then we have Supernova to obliterate Swain and Leviathan. That's not a bear behind me, that is. <laughs> That's just my puppy dog. That's Harvey. Um. <laughs> I don't know, she likes to make that sound and roll around on her back and just roll around. I Gotta get rid of Twisted Fate. At least that's two Twisted Fates gone. But I don't like that that's a card that I kind of need for Leviathan also. We can still invoke more stuff. Wait, what happened? In their tracks. Oh, I don't invoke another- Oh, I don't have another Celestial card in hand. Light. Yeah, that's a problem, I would say. Believe or burn. No mess for heretics. Have faith. 
That's a problem. Yeah, because they got rid of both the messenger and my challenger. They got rid of both of those in response, and I didn't have another one. And so therefore that spell fizzled, so now these still cost five. Um, dang, Twisted Fate's good. Bask in her radiant blessing. Order, sir! Bring forth our army. Alright, GG's. The first time, and then they they just ended up having what those multiple salvages to level up that first twisted fate. That really hurts. Then then they got to play a second twisted fate, and it was leveled up and had had all those spells. Anyway, um, Trundle Trindomir. Basically, behold the infinite's the only card here that I'm interested in to have in my opener. That was pretty crazy. Oh, Melendez, who just played yet? GG's. GG's, you got me good killing my Celestials. So just using some spell mana, we could play another Behold, and therefore Deep Meditation would cost three next turn. Then I wouldn't be playing Leona. Um, I'll just play Leona. King of Trolls, coming through. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Turn four trundle. A little rough. We'll see how often we can stun it. Daylight everlasting. Possibly, we'll see. I'm I would much rather play against Trinder Trindel Trindemir. <laughs> I don't know why that's that's struggle with that. I'd rather play against Trindemir than Aurelian Soul. Well, I'm glad they wanted to just uh I'll knock him dead. I feel like we're gonna have like infinite cards. We don't really need Traveler for more cards. And so just having something reduce, like just having something cost less is probably better. Which I guess I could go play, I could, could play a Karma this turn. Depending on what they do. Definitely like seeing that deny. This would create another three mana. I don't think this would just start creating two mana cards. Like that should just create another th three mana. I'll just reduce the cost of one of my karmas.
All right, I'll just I'll just get rid of this thing. I guess we do have the other obliterate card for Trindamir, and then we have two. If they do have a Trindamir, we have the other obliterate card, and we have two star shapings. Might as well just get rid of that thing. They're down to six cards. We have eight. Well, that's pretty good. I smell a fight. Hmm. I don't behold another celestial card right now, do I? Be at peace. peace comes only at the price of war. That's pretty clutch. Definitely think about playing another Kar uh, Karma's Inside of Ages to get a free spell and put another Karma in the deck, but we can't really because this has to be our first spell this turn to silence. I don't have the Robin in play anymore. No, denies for War Mother's Call. Peace begins within. Ugh. Where there is life, there is hope. Or maybe if they kill my karma here. I'd like to just untap and have the rest of my mana. Yeah, because I want to be I want to be doubling up these star shapings. Mm. Dang, Living Leg Legends and Cosmic Inspiration are both great. speed a spell. We must make our own path. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. They have a lot more cards than they do. going to be plus two, plus two twice. So just everything's plus two, plus two twice. <laughs> Alright, this is going to get silly. Let's go. I know, Living Legends is great. I, I want to do this Cosmic Inspiration again. Everything get plus eight, plus eight.
Vatican City. And then we have a mortal fire that even if they kill it, it just gets a re... It just comes back. Alright, so they could they could kill Karma now. I don't have protection for Karma anymore. They could have War Mother's Call now. But I'm thinking, I think I'm okay. Every one of my units just gets plus eight, plus eight everywhere. So I think we're okay. Hey, I've had... Thank you so much for that resub 17 month streak. Y'all get some hype in the chat for iPad. That's going to work towards our, our goal for tomorrow. I'm going to start off our goal for tomorrow at one out of five. The war mother will unite us all. We got roll over goals here. Oh, there's a two mana 1110. <laughs> We're doing some crazy stuff over here, I've had. Every single one of our units gets plus eight, plus eight, just automatically from some cosmic inspirations that we've had. Uh, so these are all great to play. We'll play Leona. Just everywhere, like if we ever draw anything, if we ever create anything... Anything we get, it just automatically gets plus eight, plus eight. Bask in the light's radiance. Permanently. So we're we're li over here living the life. So Laddie control all that I want to touch us. Okay, well that's I learned it. I learned something new today. I didn't realize that you know how Robin says it's always day for us? It doesn't it doesn't itself turn on its own daybreak. I didn't know that. Oh, we can give our, our units even more pluses. <clears throat> Devotion to battle. Just stack. We can definitely ruination if I play stuff first. Well, the, the double obliterate doesn't really do much because it just obliterates the same two enemies twice. Oh, yes. Let's do it again. Uh, we need the pupper. We get to do it again. Make give it, Let's go another plus four. Everything gets plus 12, plus 12. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have everything be plus 12, plus 12. Yeah, thanks, Silky Mets. I've never played six Cosmic Inspirations. I think this is the same opponent that we played our first round. Of course, it's the same deck, but I think it's even the same opponent. I do like Robin. So that's going to be our five drop. Yeah, that card's awesome. That, um, that plus two, plus two to everything all the time. That card's awesome. Because then it, it it only costs seven mana, and it refills your spell mana. So it effect effectively only costs four mana to just give everything everywhere plus two, plus two for the rest of the game. For just four mana. Which is incredible. So Meteor Shower is Twisted Fate removal, so we don't die to Twisted Fate like we did before, or I just get a Traveler. I'm going to do that, that I just play this turn and I get a, a new Invoke. Each journey 
is Cosmic a Inspiration. We had to be careful for this Behold a Celestial card. We weren't careful enough about that the previous game. Three cards that each dealt four damage. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Leave them not. Gaze into the light. Let's see. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed good card. daylight surrounds you. Ours is the one true light. Said apparently in Mobilitics, Twisted Fate Swain is weak against. Endure and Gangplank Sejuani. Which makes some sense of how we're seeing more Endure and Sejuani recently, I suppose. Such little love. Get rid of this twisted fate before it just levels up again. Oh, come on. Don't have double salvage. God, to be kidding me. that we're in trouble with just those eight mana cards. Those eight mana cards are trouble. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I will break them. Unyielding light. So basically I could I could heal that thing too, but I feel like I'm gonna need to heal my Nexus. We get this other blocker in play instead. everything this game. They really had everything. My legacy. I still have five cards in hand. I haven't really seen something like that before. Let's 
just gonna be me having me going down to two life. Yeah, we're we're definitely hoping for karma. Prepare the cargo. Definitely hoping for karma. And start Don't doubling up these sky. things. The answer lies within. Well, there's karma. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Destination in sight. Still gonna be pretty difficult. We take six immediately and then like they just go straight to attack with all of these. I could have really used that. I don't I don't know I don't think anything I don't think any deck at all would would beat that hand that my opponent just had play against twisted fate Swain twice and now trundle Trindomir twice can we play against more than two decks raise your weapon Sunwood We're not healing any, but at this point, I think it's okay to play this. Uh, yeah, more fire. Because I, you know, like we we wouldn't use like that other two mana. And um, I don't really have anything turn four also, so it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna be saving the spell mana from turn four anyway. So we can just save the spell mana. They did not have a very good hand. They did not have a very good hand. I'm gonna wait. I don't need to steal Tempest. Steel Tempest is better on these things. Just trade five drops. If they would have like a you know a trick like a pale cascade or something, they would keep theirs alive. Then you know then we can. 
Um, Steel Tempest. These are trolling. I was gonna say they they may um, ruination after I play that eight seven, which I would also be just fine with. You got a problem? Whoa. I mean, not really, but I'm not expecting that block. All right, that makes sense. Yes, Trinomir Trundle again. Yeah, Katarina's a fun champion that we haven't played in a while, isn't it? We should play some more Katarina. Many tribes under one banner. Play, used to play some Katarina Timo. That's a fun one, Katarina Timo. Daylight everlasting! So Laddie control all that her warmth touches. I'll knock him dead. Well, I need to get cards out of hand. Today we fight as one. Gaze into the light. I don't really care about that five damage too much, but I do need to get cards out of hand. What's up, Ultra Blaze? Hey, yeah, thanks, thanks for catching the stream. Glad you're enjoying the, the YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm here every day. Uh, I start about four hours, 43 minutes ago. I, I'm usually finishing up around this time. Um, or, you know, in about 15 minutes or so is usually when the stream ends each day. But yeah, we're still on. We got a couple more games to go. So we have not played any other Celestial cards for the Immortal Fire. But we're still going to be playing this one. Trying to get that damage in. Sure is. Two turns away from being enlightened for karma. My blade calls. Guess I kind of wish I would have taken the five damage instead of using that steel tempest previously, but we'll be fine. We'll be One fine. Smack will do. Yeah, good Nightfall deck. Yeah, the, the Nocturne Nightfall that we played um, earlier, I, I definitely really liked that deck. Here is the list. It is really hard to play. The last two games, the games that we lost, I, I think we could have won both of them, but I made a good amount of mistakes. That is one of the hardest decks to play. In my opinion, that one that was a tough one. Hmm. Oh, I already played a spell. Three mana. You're welcome, Ultra Plays. <laughs> yeah, that's a big sad. That's alright. I just I didn't want to play Karma before we were enlightened. I wanted to make sure that we were enlightened first. Away, 
Get them down to four with this thing. Because now, let's see. So Karma, we have seven mana. We can go We can go triple spell with Deep Meditation drawing two, Guiding Touch drawing two, or drawing four. Guiding Touch drawing two, and Behold the Infinite getting two invoked. So we, that would just fill up our hand completely and put us back up to 18. Alright, let's first draw four. Ooh, those hushes could be real good. Alright, so we're not gonna save Karma. So let's definitely do this. Um I mean I guess Moon Silver. Ugh. Yuck again, I guess. Golden Sister. Alright, we gotta play our Moon Silver. We'll play it on the Sunburst. No, let's put it on this thing. Alright, and now let's. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Invoke twice. I don't even want any of these. This one right here. I'm choosing this one. These animations, they take away your time so fast. So we're going to burn our top card because we just we've refilled our hand to 10. But the good news is we did refill our hand to 10. So, you know, like that's all that's also just awesome. Let's take 10 cards. Okay, so we can hush hush on the overwhelms, keep them from having overwhelm. That would take up six of my mana. Both of them would still kill my elusive, but of course our elusive can die one time and then come back. Yeah, hushing Trindomir would keep Trindomir from reviving if we could kill Trindomir also. That doesn't really seem worth it. So the charger can block Trentamir. There's only one true light. So they'll they'll choose how to block with the Phoenix. Live to fight. Yeah, so just kill that. Um yeah, I could definitely see playing two hush instead of three. definitely see just playing two hush maybe a second sunburst like two hush two sunburst be able to have another removal spell why give that the plus zero plus two I mean, might as well just give it to your ice pillar to heal that or to give it to the trundle. Okay, still at 10. Bask in her radiant blessing. 
Actually, I can't play that. Can I? Well, I guess I could. Yeah, I really need one more mana. Hmm. I really want to have this kill that. Really want to have this happen so I can use Sunburst to kill Trindamir. So I wanted to find the the card that dealt four damage to one thing and one damage to another. That's what I really wanted to find with this Solari Priestess. Uh, that's what I was hoping. All right, so I guess I'm gonna hush the Trind the Trundle again so it doesn't regenerate. Just gonna use this hush to just basically not not allow that to regenerate. If I hush this, and then they just kill my golden sister, I just lose on the spot. We have no quarrel. I'd rather them kill the silver sister. We were two. Yeah, definitely should have blocked the 2-5, not Trindermir. Mistake. I only saved three health by blocking Trindamir, and this would save two health anyway, so I only saved one extra life. So that was a bad block. Be at peace. Peace comes only at the price of war. King of Trolls coming through. Do not question our resolve. <sighs> so draw four or gain ten and invoke twice. I gain ten, invoke twice. Which I guess I can do that and guiding touch and then gain another two. Okay. Um Mortal fire. Yes. Supernova, that's what I want. Dead. They just attack and I die. You do 20. We're gonna have to draw. Um, we're gonna have to draw Steel Tempest, which. You know, what, one Steel Tempest left? That's cool. Not dead yet. Mortal Fire should kill them next turn. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. So that's a play of Mortal Fire with Deny Backup. Should work, so I don't want to spend. Uh, that's why we're just going to play this one drop, so I keep, keep mana. Which maybe that's bad, maybe I should just behold and, and just obliterate both of these. 
We have to have two life gain cards. That's one. Punish transgressions. All right, GTS. Dang, what a game! Something else, please. All right, basically Twisted Fate, Swain. Basically, it's just Twisted Fate, Sejuani. Okay, got a good, good first two turns. Not the best cards to follow it up. But the good first two turns. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Devotion to battle. It's possible I just don't play anything turn two and then have Shield Bearer turn three to attack with the three six. They don't really come back with a threat. No, because against that's not a great play against Petty Officer. We should just play the shield bearer and then just go straight to attacks before petty officer comes down. I hope they're going for Twisted Fate red card and not just make it rain. Because I can deny the red card. Cool, because make it rain right there, I couldn't. Never lost a fair game. Late one. And it's taking the meteor shower. Looks like be some removal trouble. for me. Twisted Fate decks. Things just seem to work out. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Just seem to work out. Still have more, or I guess the same number of cards in hand that I do. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Dealing three damage is probably going to be pretty difficult for Bilgewater plus Freljord. So I think maybe we can get some free spells off of Karma, potentially. That's a good card to nab. Definitely wish I had my own Robin. I went to play Leona on their turn to stun. Like, they, they go, like, Sejuani on their turn, and then I go Leona to stun it. Kind of thing. Will no one listen? Forward in the name of the 
So I'm just going to play these two and, and just have these as some extra blockers. And then pass. I'm not playing Behold the Infinite now because maybe we can have it whenever we're enlightened. Bilgewater decks. We will carry this All three of the games that we played against the Bilgewater just seemed like they just had everything. Bilgewater, car Bilgewater decks are so good. Um, just <clears throat> Petty Officer, in my opinion, is too strong. Um, but like that and Riptide Rex and Yordle Grifter, all three of those cards. Um, yeah, you know, we didn't really get Yordle Grifter that game, but I'm just saying, just those, those three cards. Those are probably too strong. Yeah, I I do hope they tone down Rex a bit, too. I mean, I think Re Riptide Rex would still be just fine if it does, like, four cannon barrages, you know, and even instead of seven. Seven just seems unnecessary. At four cannon barrages, it does eight damage. Um, to, to units, so like 8 mana, deal 8 damage to units and get a 7-4. Like, I don't, like, that seems very good. Uh, but overall, yeah, overall thoughts, this, this, um, was the best Karma deck that I played in a while. This deck felt, felt pretty good, especially for Karma decks. Definitely liked Karma with the Targon cards. Um, I'd probably say, I know it's... I mean, Pale Cascade, I think, is just a card that you just got to play. I think this card's too good not to play. Um, there's times, like, where it can save, enemy, save your allies, help things trade up. Like, Solari Priestess, like, is such a weak body as a 2-2. Like, Pale Cascade can help it out. I think we got to find room for Pale Cascades. Morning Light, I feel like you're just never going to play. I think that, that card can go. Definitely. And we talked about probably 2 Hush is supposed to be the number. So that could be some spots for a couple Pale Cascades. Um, and even like Behold the Infinite like I'd rather have Pale, Pale Cascade than Behold the Infinite a lot of the time honestly this this card just it just helps helps keep things alive draws cards it, it does so much um, the only the only thing that I like like basically the, the reason to play Behold the Infinite instead is that like the first couple of turns if you don't have Solari Soldier or Solari Shield Bear, it's a way it's like a card that you can spend mana on. Behold the Infinite is, uh, but we're st still playing two. So I think I think that's what I'd recommend is getting Pale Cascades in over those three cards. Um, no Pale Cas just how it draws one. This is just the card to play. It's just better than even like Sunblessed Vigor. Now, Sunblessed Vigor and Bastion, like these are good cards to protect Karma. And, you know, I guess protect Leona. Like you can, you can have these to protect those cards also. Um, I think the Pale Cascade should, should do its job with that though. Um, uh, but yeah, like I think I like... Uh, I was happy with um, the the heal the Nexus heal cards. Definitely, I was pretty happy with those, uh, especially how they.
pertain to karma. There's no, like, sweeper in these regions, I don't think, like an avalanche-type card. Something that's good against Petty Officer and how they just go wide with that, like, like avalanche. Petty Officer is just kind of broken. Um, but yeah, the, the Bilgewater decks just had awesome, awesome hands, and uh, that's that's just that's just the way it is. Um, yeah, I mean we just lost to the same deck three times in a row. It's, um, but I think our deck felt our deck. I think our deck felt pretty strong. <clears throat> um, all right, but anyway, that's Karma Leona. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Got any suggestions for the deck? Uh, let me know if if you know if you're a big if you're a Karma fan, give the deck a try because I think this this did feel stronger than any other Karma deck that I've been playing recently. So give it a try and leave the comments. I, I really want to hear your feedback on how this deck works and you know Karma with uh, Targon. You know, yeah, let, uh, yeah, leave those comments. Let me know what you think. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Karma Leona. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.